cultural competency for this school district is not just simply how to become competent, but also perhaps we first have to begin with all the stories of how incompetent we are and perhaps also how that affects the folks that are here. It's uh, been somewhat of a life-changing event, just like you uh, open a door and you see something, you can't close it again. You just see things differently. It gives you a different perspective. My biggest goal was to really understand um, the extent and commitment that the district had towards diversity and how um, willing they were to really dig into this and learn more about it. I think that sometimes people leave school districts because they're disappointed, that they were hoping that they could be more of who they wanted to be. And I think that for me, cultural competency is not dinners, clothing, or special words in Spanish that you might know. But I think it's really getting to know the heart and spirit of people. I uh, was concerned when I first started this that there was maybe um, too few opportunities for people to talk about diversity, cultural competency, uh, particularly among administrators. Uh, uh, teachers, I think, deal with it all the time, but administrators, uh, as a, an American Indian myself, I uh, constantly feel like we should be trying and striving to find more diverse teachers or more diversity to hire at the administrative ranks so that our uh, image in front of students reflects the image they see in society. I think that we have diversity in our school districts, but we know very little about the people that are there. We know very little about the journeys that they've taken to survive in that school district the journey that it's taken for them to get to the position that they're in. I think that one of the things that people learned these past sessions that we've been having with each other is that there's a story that they never knew that people carried inside of themselves and how that story affected them, how it affects them today. Well, this was a great experience because I was able to meet a lot of people. I was able to get to know my colleagues in a deeper way, and I think I understand them better. I know who they are. I can respect them for their stories, their past, their present. Um, this was a great training because it helped us learn to respect and appreciate people for who they are. Also, I believe that when we begin to hear that story, there's something that happens here in our hearts. And it's not up here. I don't think diversity is really something we can do in our heads. I think it's something that we have to shift in our hearts. And why I did it with people rather than an historical lesson or reading about it was that I think that when we begin to see that our very best friend next to us, somebody we've known for 10 years, and they begin to tell a story that we never knew about, that really we're shocked and the question might become, why didn't we know? Why didn't we find out? And I think that it has a lot to do because we don't know how to ask questions. I have found that this particular training has really, really made my purpose clear for being recruited to Salem Kaiser. One of my primary goals for participation in the cultural competency training was I really wanted to understand my role and how it affects those around me. It was billed as uh, sort of an intense uh, retreat um, and a chance to get to know my fellow um, colleagues on a deeper level, maybe more personal level, and that also intrigued me. I'm thankful that I was raised with a very supportive environment, with people who helped build my self-concept and self-esteem so that when I became a victim of racism, I was able to deal with it and to truly seek to understand where the people were coming from and to try to help them understand that it's okay. Cultural competency must also be linked to leadership because I would love to see that my cultural competency also is integral to an envisionment of what a leader, good leader looks like. For me, the, the meaning of cultural competency is really 
individuals. It's seeking to, to understand each other deeper, maybe even more important than seeking to be understood. Salem Kaiser is undergoing some huge, huge changes, especially in the demographics of our student population. We will look more brown and black in the near future. If you look at the projections of our population, it's very, very important that we embrace these changes, learn to celebrate each other's similarities as well as our differences, and just know that this is what the new world is going to be about and learn to work together. The people that, are, that I was dealing with in this group are people that can influence children.